Am I going to spew? <laughs> Dude, do it. Like, we called them spewies or huggies because every time you took them, you spewed or you just end up hugging him, mate. Not that bad that we all got a shit boy zone tap. And we all share the same needle. Luckily, everyone. <laughs> I'm so sad because I need drinking buddies yeah, straight away. 100%. It's 7 a.m. If I eat my own shit, will you guys get up and party with me? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode number 20. It's not the start, it's the interview. Yeah, I know. It is the start. We're starting with Blake Brown. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Duh, I'm here. Uh, what episode is this? 24? 25. 25? Wow. Holy fuck. That's yeah. not my lucky number. What is your lucky number? I don't know how to have one. And fucking, we've got uh, B- Mr. Blake Melbourne joining us today, guys. And he's feeling a little worse for wear. We saw your stories last night. It looked like you had a fucking good time. You, you want a fuckload on the fires? Yeah, fucking heaps. And uh, thousand dollars. And you've come with a little vomit bucket. <laughs> <laughs> And what, you're four beers deep now? <laughs> you haven't I driven brought, here. I brought... <laughs> well, he's got a I driver. I brought you guys four, and then I spilt two in my mouth on the way here. I, I hate it when that happens. And I've got happens. a transparent driver that doesn't wear clothes. He's, he's made of glass. Now. Yeah, he's he can't, he fully can't made of glass. It. He's invisible, and he will be driving you home. He's out there. If you wave, he never waves back. Um, but yeah, Blake is a little... Hungover. Imagine yeah. if you took a family out on the way home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're laughing about this, but we leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to call me. I never pick up. <laughs> oh, oh, it oh, comes yeah. out a week later Fuck, after got, they've been killed. That just got heavy real quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are heavy beers. <clears throat> Speaking <sighs> of fucking um, heavy, how are, how are the weekends? <sighs> fucking... Worms tournament with Brown. Mm, we played some worms. Oh man, golf man. I got a birdie, and what Bullshit. else? Really? Yep. Birdie I played golf He's and I did not get that. I played a couple of days ago and. Yeah. Oh really? Did you get a par at least? Uh, and no, I fucking shanked it in the first tee off, and everyone was lining up watching. Uh, oh. It's the best feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and you do this, you go. Oh, it and you hurts. do the back thing, you go because me back's off today. Oh, and then you tee off again, and it happens <laughs> yeah. again. Oh, yeah, did you go? That's just dumb. Yep. Oh, yep. It, it's it turns into Ambrose hole. real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you use That's your team. That's me mate. every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, we. It was a good weekend, and I saw Racker Racker's film talk to me, yeah. and it's fuck me. Have good? you seen that? Uh, yeah, it's very. Very really good. Yeah. Everyone, talk to you. Does everyone, anyone who doesn't know the Racker Boys, Aussie YouTubers, they've made a They're fucking banger mm. movie because YouTube kept started deleting their shit, even though it was just editing or special effects and shit. That doesn't sound like YouTube. Yeah. And then, and now they went, fuck it, let's make a Hollywood movie. And it's fucking killing it. And it's, yeah, very good. Talk oh. to me in cinemas, guys. Look it up and fucking go over watch. Couldn't happen to two better cunts. Go do it. Fucking do it. Do yeah. it now. Mm. Speaking of fucking good cunts. <sighs> Uh, how fucking good are the Misfit Minds boys going? I was yeah. literally just going to say that. I was talking to him last night. I FaceTimed him off the fucking tree. I was so <laughs> high going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but I was showing a mate that hasn't seen their shit and he was losing it. Like their fucking interviews. But they did the job interviews and that. Oh, like, yeah, oh, I hadn't yeah. seen that one. And um, yeah, the shit and Bunnings and that. I was fucking in stitches. And the window shopping one they did recently. Yeah, the window shopping. Dude, that is such good ideas. Such minds, good ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. fuck me. They're gonna be. They're gonna be big. I reckon. What are they on YouTube now? They're they're growing quick now. I think like one thirty. Yeah. I'm gonna say oh, one thirty two. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. I reckon. I reckon You've even got, more. I reckon and we've I'm got say one fifty. Oh, Michael, yeah, you push record. One thirty-four. Oh, you were right. <laughs> fucking yeah. hope you press record. Oh, I walked in. I can't remember. You scared me. For I don't fun. remember. Put, I don't oh, feel of that. Oh, you can't. Oh, his hair came on. Let us have a squeeze. You can't. Yeah, you can't. Is that one guy? <laughs> There's such a fire hazard in here, eh? There's cords plugged into cords plugged into. <laughs> if a fire marshal comes in here, you guys are fucking getting terminated, eh? How do you know about that shit? Oh, that just doesn't look right, can't? This. I don't think he meant to triple piggyback into fucking. I don't think it's tripling. It's it's just a bit of a double. 
<laughs> but they say don't do that. There's oh just, really? Oh yeah. When oh my there. god! I when, don't know when, about that. When we take risks. That's why I always here. I always see you guys do it out there, and I'm like, nope, nope, nope. When, when it's, when it's I move it all around. When it's a spider web in the middle, and they all go other places. That's usually when it's not. Oh really? Yeah. You know what I mean? When it looks we do like, that all the when time. it starts in the middle and spreads out like a virus. <laughs> <Wow>. That's not. <laughs> I don't even knew that shit. I don't know yeah, that adult you, stuff. You shouldn't do it. But uh, but because we only do a two hour podcast, I take the risk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we leave it there though. Un, un, leave it off though. Leave it under, yeah. under, under, like, overnight just so it keeps the room warm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything off. Oh, wow, I'm learning. I'm actually learning about that. So how you been, Blakey? Apart from the vicious hangover, what's what's been going on, mate? You've been you were you've been going around Australia a bit. We've seen where where are you oh, where where you go? Okay, I don't trust my stomach today. <laughs> Dude, oh. I hope you vomit. Yeah, me too. I want to touch it. We can all vomit. It'd be good, eh? All I'll have to do is sniff that. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like flop on it. <laughs> Dude, that was so good. Um, yeah, I've been uh, going back and forth to WA. Oh, yeah. So is it heavy, heavy work there? You working your ass off when no, you're there? It's not. You just drive a truck and chill, listen they to podcasts? Pay, yeah, they just pay you a lot of money just to drive a, a, oh, so a three story house. Yeah, so uh, you, you're working in the mines <laughs> now, yeah, yeah. fly in, fly out. Yeah, and so and and so you just drive the big machines. Yeah, what, what? yeah. I used to. I before I did content, I was uh like operated concrete boom pumps, like truck driving, and you know I was supervisor high rise and underground like tunnels and all that shit. So I got the job out there, but the reason why I wanted to do it is because it pays so well, and you do two weeks, and then two weeks off, you've got all the time in the world to make content. It's like the perfect. Yeah, yeah it is. Job. Instead yeah. of stressing about trying to make content all the time and hoping yeah, it go you just well. can do it organically. You've got a you've got a plan B. It's kind of like you, Matt, except nowhere near as good, nowhere near as much money. You get paid nowhere near, and, and you, you don't have two weeks <laughs> off and two weeks on. Just, you one, work just one nothing, day. Nothing <laughs> like just it. Nothing like it's like it. It's <laughs> much much worse, but. Kind of like Matt because he has a fallback, he has a full time job, but ha then has no time to make content. See, Zero. if this was a normal job, there's no way I'd be driving the other end of Brizzy on a Monday <laughs> yeah. with a spew bucket. Just come see it. So it's a perfect. Do you it's find like, on the two weeks off that you are having just I got so day. much time? You no, well, it, when people uh, work normally, it's kind yeah, of hard to find a, par a drinking partner or do anything. But yeah, I've just been, I'm maturing, I'm playing golf. Yeah, we've yeah, golf's really Actually I'm not. I'm just playing golf and I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm trying to sound better than You're just finding <laughs> activities to do while drinking. While drinking, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So but no, it's good, man. You got two weeks off and um we've got time to like um yeah, build some content on the side and I'm actually wanting to work on publishing a cookbook at the moment. Yeah, that's fucking sick. You mentioned that before. That's so good. So what like just the you're just gonna put the recipes of the meals that you make. Well I've I've chose a hundred meals. But obviously they're not going in it but then I'm just going to siphon through it and kind of have a because I mean hit up for a cookbook for ages and I was like what I, I, I can understand that people want a cookbook it's like a digital world people mm. want books so I'll give them books yeah that's fucking but that's I'm going to make idea. it for the you know getting people in the kitchen kind of like simple I think I'll color coordinate it like blue is oh, easy, yellow is medium, idea. red. So you flick oh, yeah, to the color. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and like easy uh, can be quick as well. Because yeah. sometimes like I'm like, what what can I cook in fucking yeah. 15 minutes? And then there's the couple of little root pages where it's little, you know, meals to get a chick over and ah, yeah, oh, to impress them a okay. bit. Getting Nine roots meals. with roots. Ah. Mm. Cooking with roots. Yeah, wow. Oh, very That's good. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is a great idea. So you're still making, are you, are you, are you still, you're going to start another like content page? Yeah, probably down the track, not straight away, but concentrate on the book because the, the book is a bit of a mission. Yeah. Like it's not just like, it's a bit harder than I thought, but so that might take a while, but yeah, because I'm um, not doing Uncut Kitchen anymore. Yeah. So yeah, haven't been doing that for a while now, but um. Yeah, they, is, it, is it still running the Uncut Kitchen? Yeah, it's still running. They're still doing it. They're kind of, I think they're kind of doing like, because um, when I was doing Uncut Kitchen, I also started on the side doing food reviews and the mm -hmm. food reviews got real well and a lot of restaurants were hitting me up to come, come oh, to yeah. their place and do a review, which was good. So I think they're kind of doing like a, a version of that themselves. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was we I was pretty happy what we did with Uncut Kitchen. Like we I did three hundred and sixteen meals. 
Did you find it was hard to keep coming up with meals? 100%. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 316. 316. I think and I've only you, ever eaten like 10 meals. I just cycle through the well, same Well, before I started I there, like I loved cooking. That's why they uh, gave me the opportunity to do it. But I kind of had to straight away go, bam, we're filming, cook. Yeah. And so I had to fast track and learn. But Do you make your own recipes up in I, your head? Or I, you I, just I make fucking... up recipes in my head, but all, mainly I see a few ingredients a few recipes and I bond them together oh, okay. but because cooking really it or like cooking is just copying other people's shit like who yeah. the fuck invented bread what's like, your favourite <laughs> food uh, top three meals burgers and Mexican for sure yeah fucking burgers yeah. man I can't what about pizza pizza is good too so like I I like making this pizza at home that's like super easy instead of making your own dough or anything you just use Lebanese bread Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like crispy crunch. Mm. Yeah, now I'm hungry. It's sick. Yeah, yeah, I haven't eaten today. Didn't you guys do some cooking recently? Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, we we've did done we? some a couple of cooking uh, oh, shows yeah, for our website are. without fucking competition <laughs> over here, eh? Hey boys, invite yeah, me over support. and then shove it in me face. <laughs> hey, that's how it's going down, is it? What did we do? We, we did, did um, we did vomit <laughs> cocktails. Oh, I fuck yes. <laughs> It's like when I cooked piss for you guys. Um, I cooked Dude. a piss battered fucking fish. And we did a. When you say you're cooking, I'm thinking you're a cookie. Not fucking vomit. <laughs> we made our own pizza, but we like I would eat them and then I'd yeah, like a, vomit all the all ingredients. They were all regurgitated. It was a regurgitated pizza. Do you guys Another have one. checkups like once a month or like? Is, is it? it bad to have vomit food? Is it yours or it's mine? Uh, so it's, it's his vomit, his. but uh, yeah. So you're not food. eating each other's vomit. No, no you guys ate my. You that. ate our boy's piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. piss is piss. P isn't piss is quite sterile though, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. No. All right. Well, maybe we should go get checked then. If you drink piss, it's not good for you. Like if you're in a desert and you're like, oh, well, at least I got this. You're doing <laughs> desperate opposite. <laughs> worse for you. And we did do another one. Yeah, like vomit some. cake. We oh yeah, <laughs> baked a cake. That's good. Yeah. yeah, and it was like a, it was like <laughs> a, it was like a mud cake, but was it nice? No, oh, dude, it, it stayed so watery. It was, it was, hard it was a soup. It was a but chocolate. Wait, wait, soup. wait. What was, what was like the, the, the pre food intake? All the ingredients like, for a cake. Oh, I get it. Yeah, so Butter. it has the raw ingredients <laughs> and then skulls. Of, <laughs> Skulls a bit of milk. I was like thinking, did you have Mexican, like a Mexican cake or something? Like, taco cake. <laughs> no, no, it was all cake ingredients, but um, obviously it was very milky because the vomit. It was very milk. runny, yes. Yeah, it like, it was like, like soup. we took it out of its cake tin and it just. Do you, know, you guys ever have, I've always wondered this, like any family phone calls, like, wait, look. <laughs> no, for website shit, like, you know, our family knows not to even bother going there. Even our partners <laughs> are just like, yeah, it's too much. Yeah, but the like, you know, parents or family members are like, if they are, oh, how's it? How are they going? Do I would just, never tell my mom. No, but do they just go? They, do, yep. Oh yeah, my, they're I making think, vomit cakes. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> my, my granddad said last he'd heard he, he's, the way he describes is, I don't agree with everything they do, but I'm glad he's happy. <laughs> That's all he said. Hey, you, well, that's that's a vomit cake. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what yeah, a vomit exactly. cake should say on it. It I'm makes you happy. Yeah, it makes you <laughs> I'm glad he's doing what makes him happy. Vomit cake. <laughs> Pays the bills. I don't agree with right. it. That's insane. But it's making him happy. Yeah. That'd yeah. be good to film like a vomit cake or whatever, but then hidden cameras here and you have friends over, have a normal dinner and then, oh, here's the dessert. And just see if they go, mm, and but you know when people lie that's my puke oh that's so good and like oh I don't know if I put enough like uh, yeah, dude, milk yeah it would be pretty funny yeah, yeah. yeah serve vomited up food and then show them this is the one person like kind of <laughs> tastes like spew <spirit. laughs> the pizza that's the secret because they, they do even the pizza, the pizza like smell quite nice but then you bite into it and sour something wrong with well, it well like, even when I cooked like you guys that piss fish and I was like that looks Look yeah, the look, oh, the look of it is not too bad. Too bad. Yeah, remember the really? popsicles, the piss popsicles? <laughs> Cut my oh. lips. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you oh, shot in, in the bush. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it, it spurred some diarrhea on. Shami's watching going, what the fuck, man? <laughs> it's like got this nice trim bush and you're shitting on it. Like, not in it, on top of it. Like the bush had a top hat of shit. Yeah, yeah I forgot about the poo. It's like just... a little... It was like it looked like those little was fake dummy upset? poos you put, <laughs> yeah. you know those little where they go. Like, it was like, but it was he like just, real weird skinny dog poo. He just shits wherever he stands. As soon as he needs to shit, he'll just pull his pants down and shit. Especially when we're. Have you, wait, 
How funny is it when you see a dog shit, right? And they, they pause up, they, but then you, next time you see this, lock eye contact with them. It's so awkward. <laughs> they, they for get, them, they for get them like it is, not for you. They get but they don't. Yeah, you Bosley have this doesn't look, like it. Like, yeah. I love watching Bosley shit. And they start wrapping up quicker. Like, yeah, they stare at us. He <laughs> stares start, at us. They start getting it out quicker like, sorry, I've ruined your day. It's a shame. <laughs> they'll go do it somewhere else. Yeah, Bosley gets really like, yeah, sort of self-conscious he, about he it. He goes, he tries to find really like private areas. <laughs> but, but, he looks like a wiki keeper. If you think yeah. about it, if you think about it, so would I. <laughs> See, there's yeah. a bunch of people going, hey, look, he's doing hey, shit. Look, <laughs> hey, look, I wonder if he's going to snap it off or we'll just keep pushing. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, it's <laughs> something you don't want out there. This is proper shit talk. Yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah. Sponsors! Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 to get some of the best male grooming stuff you've ever seen or heard of. It's even for women. They've got it in Coles and Woolworths now. So don't buy it from there, though. Buy it online and use our discount code so Manscaped thinks that it's beneficial to pay us to continue doing these ad reads. Oh, that's crazy, man. You you look so good now that you use Manscaped. Fresh. You used to look like a real bag of shit. You fucking never used to look like that. Now you, now you, I feel proud to say that you're my friend. Before I was ashamed and I'd hide you. And, and there are so many people out there that I would just want to hide and I don't want to look at you. I don't want to look at you and I don't I don't want you around when you look like shit. Go to manscaped.com. <laughs> <laughs> Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual 20 because your friends are sick of you looking like shit. It's the pirate. Well said, Michael. And what what that means is it's also for women. And he said that in the language of women. Yeah. <laughs> it's the pirate. Hairy women. Women, if you're hairy and you got big, thick black fur protruding from your body, go to Manscaped. Don't fuck around with that shit. Also for women. For you. Go to Manscaped. Link in the description. Athletic Greens. There's 75 vital nutrients and minerals in there that you aren't getting regularly. Okay? It's a green powder. You put one dose in a cup of water in your skull. Boom. Done. You're done for the day. Okay? You're fucking... It's a subscription. They drop it at your front door. It's 75 vital nutri nutrients and minerals. That's arguably too many. It's yeah, so they could fucking take healthy. Out. They could. That, that, like, it's, it's too much. It's too healthy. The only issue with with AG1 is that it's too healthy. Go to ag1.com slash fully actual and you will get a free travel pack so that you never have to miss out on your daily AG1. It's, it's, it's fucking GMO free, it's vegan, it's dairy free. So anyone out there with gut issues, go to ag1.com slash fully actual, link in the description, just click on it and go. God, what are you waiting for? Be healthier. You look like shit, Manscaped. AG1, go. You could... Take AG1 and you will live too long. <laughs> and of course, our subscription website, the University of Michael, where we post weekly fucking insane banger videos, 30 to 40 minutes long. Holy shit, they're good. We just posted a video recently, does numbing cream work? Oh. Where we hurt ourselves and then we put numbing cream on and then we hurt ourselves again to see if it really does work. And let me tell you, it's crazy shit, bitch. It's fucking insane shit. There's a 21 day free trial. You can have a look at the fucking content. If you don't fucking like it, you can fucking leave fucking free of charge, you fucking... How many videos? There's like 270 out there now, and whoa, holy shit, it's crazy, man. It's it, we can't post any of this to YouTube because it, it's just so out, outside. It's the too realm. much. It is a bit too much. If you aren't cool, you probably wouldn't like it. Anyway. Actually, even if you are cool, you probably won't like it. It's a lot. So if if you're not into like hectic shit probably don't watch it but you know we're building our little community there which where all our, our like-minded people are we talk to people in the facebook group and you get weekly fucking uh premium the premium members get weekly videos from us like a like a diary entry kind of thing and then we got we do q a monthly q a's in our it's group it's wild bro it's, it's a too nice much. it's very family like yeah. it's we've gotten to know so many of you guys and it's it's beautiful anyway back to the convo with blake 
Oh. Well, well, let's fucking um, change gears. Um, so, yeah, so you, you, you're going to keep making your content and potential for a fucking cookbook. Well, uh, I, yeah, I do want to do all that. But also for the last, like, fuck, most of my life, but in the last probably five, six years, I've been writing skits and I've got about, what is it, 280 voiceovers I want to do and about 360 recreations. What are, what do you like cartoons? No, 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 videos like skits and voiceovers of existing videos. Oh, okay. And so I've filed this up and then I've got like fucking um kind of like I don't know like a shitload. It's called for some reason it's called Bondi's funny. Um and then they're just all kind of written skits. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why it's called Bondi's funny. I think maybe I was on a bender in Bondi five years ago at a skate comp and I seen something funny and I'm like, I'm going to write that down. And it was just started off as Bondi's funny. Okay. And then it's kind of everyday kind of stuff. Kind of like uh, I grew up in the era of like Seinfeld and shit. Yeah. Where you know that everyday kind of shit that you you think you think it's just funny, but it happens to everyone. Mm. Yeah, and I've been writing stuff on that. So I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but I've just – Pushed it aside for ages. Yeah. So I've got a lot, a lot of content ready. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, well, like a awesome. shitload that I've been writing and putting together and matching up with ideas for like, yeah, the last five, six years. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah, man. I just have, so that's like my little that's the backup thing that yeah, I was, I coming. always want to do it, but I never had the time. But now this is this perfect opportunity. Where yeah. are you, li- where are you living now? Um, In Palm Beach. I've been okay. there for a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When I moved out of Shami's, I went to, Palm Beach. Yeah. But you're just like in an apartment? No, no. Uh, my partner's mum owns the joint. Real nice place uh, near the beach. And she's oh, traveling wow. around Australia for like the next Who is your years. missus? Or? No. Well, yeah, I'm just at home by myself. <laughs> 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 All right, babe. Have fun around Australia. I'll be here feeding the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So that's, that's No, no. Her well. mum and yeah, her yeah. parents are traveling. Yeah, so okay. we've, yeah, we've so got your, got house, house, your house sitting at. Yeah, kind of How long have you been with your miss so for? Uh, about two and a half years. How's that? As gone? long as I've had a cat. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, cat years, that's like 10 years. Do you reckon, <laughs> you're, do you reckon you'll do the marriage and kids thing? Um, yeah, at some point. Uh, she's she, she definitely wants to, but I don't like thinking about anything like that until you're a bit more stable. Yeah. And I don't know, we have a house and I don't know, like... I was waiting for this job and I'll have a little bit more like I know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. She it was it was pretty hard for her back in the day when um because I I'd do shit with Shami and the boys and they kind of wanted me to join. I was like, "Oh no, it's easy for me to just walk in and walk out." Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like mm. it wasn't and I wasn't with her and then we started dating and then the Shami on cut shit, she fucking Yeah, well you guys are around like topless chicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that that would be a bit awkward for her. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't awkward for me, but it was awkward <laughs> for her. <laughs> but it's, it, obviously she didn't have anything to worry about. It's, it's fucking, yeah. you know. But, yeah, it was hard for her. And then we ended up traveling more and getting rid of that. And then she's like, oh, fuck, I want to travel. It's like, you, you don't win. But, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, that was hard at the start. But, yeah, it's all good now. Yeah, but, well, um, there you go. She yeah. doesn't mind the two weeks. The two weeks. She of- she struggled at the start, but now yeah, it's kind of good. She goes in her own world. And does. I said you will love it. Yeah, fucking, you'll have do what you yeah, want. Do whatever. Mm. Fucking no. Yeah. Cheat on me. This can't talk. Yeah, <laughs> go get, out get a couple cheat of on blo- me. get a couple of blokes over. I won't even know. <laughs> just you can do whatever you want those two weeks. Just don't let them touch my transformer <laughs> toys. Can't they're worn. <laughs> or don't touch them or spot them in. <laughs> but nah, it's working out all right. Fucking yeah, fuck yeah, dude. But no, nah, that's good. See how we go with fucking making a book and that. Maybe it'll be shit. Maybe it won't. Have Who you cares? got like a so? It, do you, so has someone approached you to make the book or it, no? No, I just when will like because you need to find like a publisher and yeah, shit, yeah. Right? So there was like um. Well, who knows these days? AI does fucking everything besides sucking a dick. Like you can mm. AI. Yeah, mm. that's true. Who Chat knows? I look into it. But um, yeah, the, I was getting hit up by a lot of people. Oh, so um, people were coming to you and saying... No, no, no. A lot of people from watching the show... Oh, right, like, right, right. It was one of the main requested things. And I was like, I don't I don't have time for that. Am I going to spew? <laughs> Dude, do it. Throw up in Matt's lap. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me move I'll fix that way. outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like he's been vomited on already. <laughs> 
Fuck. You look like acid I took like years ago. Like just a tab of acid. Like I want to lick you and just go, oh, Do you do as many psychedelics? Oh. oh, man, when I first moved to Goldie, because I'm from Sunshine Coast, Cleandra, um, you know, we got on it and done a lot of drugs, whatever. But when I came here, I obviously, because I was in the skate community and, you know, all my mates are fucking pro skaters or just that skaters are hectic bendering and drinking and slamming their bodies into the ground and when i met the boys that are my best mates here now there was this house in jeffo that we just go to and then we just did drugs <laughs> and we'd be doing it weekend every weekend and there was even this time when we took these um these pills were like we called them spewies or huggies because every time you took them you spewed or you just end up hugging your mate <laughs> they're really strong they're that bad that we all got like really good they're that bad that we all got a shit boy zone tat like it's the worst tattoo. oh wow There's eight of us with that bad tattoo and we didn't even realise that it's a band a, a gate a, like a shit band <laughs> wow anyway um, yeah and so we are doing shit like that and having acid every weekend like 12 hour trips you know like Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking bug. 12 hours. <laughs> do I stink? Uh, but yeah, Flies we're doing that around. every weekend, man. Like, bendering every weekend, like, without a doubt. Like, I had, I'd seen some fucking funny shit on that. Like, I'd, I'd go in a car and be like, fuck me, I'm fucking high. I'd just sit, you know, when you want to get away from something? Oh, I'm so fucking high. And then I'd see, I remember seeing my mate come out of the house. He thinks no one's around. I'm in the car going, oh, I hope he doesn't see me. And then he came out. And he answers his phone and talks, and then I realised he wasn't ever on the phone. He answered an air phone, and then it was on a. <laughs> <laughs> did he know you were watching? No, no, he didn't did have he, a fucking. So he thought he was on the phone. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. And then he struggled oh to get in the door for ages, and I'm fucking losing <laughs> yeah. it, man. Hey, yeah, that is good. I shit. was losing it, and that was like everyone, all these guys' girlfriends went to Splendor for the weekend. <laughs> And so Jess is like, yeah, no chicks, yeah. And we fucking bended down. He spray painted on the wall. It's a rental. Boys only. Like, as in boys only. And then we're in where we drink. And he's like, we're in there on acid and shit. And he's like, fuck, it's bright in here. Like, these fluorescent lights. All you had to do was turn them off. But instead, he got, because he's a concreter, he drilled into the slab heaps of holes so we can put beach umbrellas in. oh my god <laughs> so then we all sat on the beach umbrellas going oh fuck that's way better man oh my god hey you're a genius <laughs> oh, and then man. we're sitting there fucking like there's so many shit we went down the house like we're sitting there and the next minute we're like what the fuck is this shit and like the whole gram was like this Stephen someone had gotten a drink at the tap and just left it on and then the sink got clogged and so the whole house is flooding while we're just sitting there. Whose house was it's, it's just this, a My mate's, mate's rental. rental, yeah. But it was wow. on Jeffo, which is a sick spot. But it was an old 19 fucking 50s, 60s, like, you know, Queensland. When you say Jeffo, what are you, is that in Palm Beach, you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah Jefferson, Jefferson Lane. Lane. Yeah, yeah. Like, Matt's from yeah. there. Yeah. I well, there's a lot of Bender houses there. My, yeah, old beach houses. Yeah, so, from the am day. I, so the one down the street, that one's still gone today. It's been gone for 17 fucking years or something. And takeover of party people and it just <laughs> never ends wow. but um that 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 house yeah fuck man like and then we all gotta let's get a tattoo and we all share the same needle luckily everyone else. <laughs> yeah and while we're doing it it's like instead we're scrubbing it with we're scrubbing it with there was like a bowl of like ink water and we're using the scour it you know the with you put the stuff on the end the scary yeah, things yeah. for washing up and that's how we're cleaning up oh. tattoo. Did you go first? Oh, man. I can't remember, man. <laughs> oh, wow. But, um, <laughs> so eight of us got it, and it was like, I remember the next one, like, what the fuck is this shit? A boy zone. <laughs> and well, that cooked like hash. It's like hashes. I don't know why it's hashes. <laughs> but yeah, like. <laughs> oh, wow. The worst tattoos. Ever. And then my other mates got all our names <laughs> down there. I'm so oh, wow. glad that our tattoo gun is no longer here. Yeah. So many times, dude, yeah. How these, are gun line around, these are all benders. Yeah, you have a tattoo Look, gun. I like the around. wings. The wings on the wrist. Yeah, nice. my mate Bren did that a while ago. That was a good bender. It, that was <laughs> that was something I wanted. It's like Norse Viking. It's like uh, like Viking warriors that die on battle and they fight. And fucking when they die in the underworld. <laughs> and I want that on my wrist. <laughs> yeah, I want that on my wrist. Can't do it now. <laughs> and see this here. This is my mate, um, Gibbers. This is a real life person. Oh, he, wow. So he's a good artist he's beautiful. too. beautiful. I always but, thought that was Ned Kelly drinking. No, no, no. So he drew this himself. But Gibbers is a good mate of mine. 
He'd always just go to parties with snakeskin boots and an army helmet with the Durries Malbros in the strap, strap in an army yeah. helmet. And he'd just wear shit like that places. Like everywhere, man. If you see and someone like that, you want to go drink. Yeah, and so, him. but when he's drunk, we call him Gerald. And so, yeah, and he's always having a durry and he's drinking. He's got a beard like down to here. Did you meet wow. him like that? No, I've known him since school. Like we kind of turned him. He was like a A grade student, real funny guy. And then now he's, I think now he, he's a fucking no, piece uh, of shit. He, deli I think he delivers uh, shit for toll, but he's really smart. And now he's just full alcohol. Shit. Oh no! <laughs> but he's really intelligent and funny as fuck. Yeah, like yeah. really funny man. And so I was like, yeah, I'll get that tattooed on me. That's fucking Yeah, hilarious. now I remember last time you told us some fucking oh, hectic Chris with the stories. Like yeah, that dude that, that dude. lost I wanted to space. actually get, I'll try and get it to you guys before I leave today, the photo of the pool cue through the Yeah, pool. yeah. It's oh, cool. yeah. And oh, that. and Pat, yeah, the photo of it. I've got that on me. The yeah, photo, I yeah. remember you showed me that. Yeah. yeah, there was the pool cue that went through his Yeah, his, his whole body. Yeah. And then there was the- he went Just come up. He went through like the windscreen of a Yeah, car. Pat, he went through the windscreen, ripped half his face off, went to the hospital. He needed uh, skin graft, but he was like, ah, and went back to the bender and bended for two more days. That wow. is so intense. Dude. His nose was hanging off Fuck. and they, he band-aided it and just held it there. Oh my God. And then we had to get surgery now? later. Does he look <laughs> he fucked now? Leave it. No, he, he's got a lot of scars. <laughs> he's got a lot of scars, but he's like, he's a, and he, he parties like he skates, man. Like he's fucking insane. Pat is like, he's, <laughs> he's had front covers of slam he's like pro skater but he just throws his body he's a nutter of a fighter he drinks hard and he yeah slams hard and he does shit like that that's just like why don't we, you just won't die yeah wow <laughs> like there's certain people who just don't die yeah well mm. Michael's kind of like that yeah spew yeah. <laughs> but yeah he, half his face has fallen off and he pushed the doctor out of the way like no I'm going back to the Back to the bent. Oh, skin graft doesn't sound yeah, fun. I'm going. Uh, what skin graft? Oh, do you have bees there or what? <laughs> <laughs> Holy but shit! Nick's like, what are you doing, man? It's your face. He's like, oh, I'll fucking uh, I'll wash it out. <laughs> <laughs> Nick in the car in the crash, smoking and everything. And he's sitting there, passing. Like, Is it bad? And Nick got his nose, put it oh, up, oh. and he goes, and he goes, nah. and he, he put it up, and then it went like that, and he goes, Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would be so scared. <laughs> he he had so much, he had, he, the windscreen had that oh. big kind of like a bird hit it. Like, <laughs> <"Burr."> <laughs> oh, oh no. the car was written off, and they ended up leaving oh, there. Oh, fucking god, dude! Go to the hospital and then fuck. And they were camping too. Yeah, so camping from even, an island. Camping's even yeah, camping's even worse. Kind of like it's not like you're yeah. like. Oh, I'll fucking, we'll wash it in the house. It's the, not sterile at nah, all. No, you just yeah. like back around the, the, the fire. Infection for just sure. Just like ash and oh, sand and fire. Imagine oh. waking up in the tent in the morning, bro. Yeah, imagine like when like you're hungover. hungover. You've gone, you've had your fun, you've gotten all the drugs Everyone's done. Everyone's going home. You go to bed, you hear people <laughs> start to pack their tents up and then you get out, there's no mirror. Bro. You can't fucking look yeah. in the mirror. Yeah, and you just start feeling like, oh, that's right. That's right, my head <laughs> went through this thing, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that Dude, is intense. That One the, time that a seatbelt would probably help. <laughs> the worst come down <laughs> ever. ever. Wait, and you wake up and your pillow is stuck to your face. Oh, yeah, no, no, and Pat, he wouldn't have fucking, I don't know if he slept or whatever, but so we used to do a lot of skate trips uh, for Hoon skateboards and we'd go on the road for, you know, weeks at time and every time we'd set up camp or whatever, I'd get up in the morning and start filming and Pat's, there's a tent not set up, but he's in it. <laughs> and his legs are hanging out, but he's it's just, it's just a sheet. But he's laying in it every time. I'm like, like what are you doing? We've done back? that before on the road. Trip. Every single time, bro. Like it's she like fuck putting no, the pegs so up. drunk. <laughs> so there's just a tent that's flat, and like you're good to go. So, uh, uh, and then he would fucking shred all day, what? throwing oh, his God. body on the ground. What, so you, oh. were you were really, are you a really good skater? No, I like so a lot of my mates are really good skaters. Skating was like my whole life. Like um, until I've gotten older, my body's like, oh, you can't. Fucking stop doing this shit. That's how my body feels, that skeleton with a suit. <laughs> um, but yeah, all my mates have been really good pro skaters and that. So when I started wrapping it up a bit skating, like oh, I had some sponsors at some stage of my life and then I started filming. That's when I got into filming and then I'd go on these trips. It was good for me. I could drink and film and then, you know, watch my mates. Well, so all your mates, how are they your mates from like high school or something? 
Uh, no, I've got ma- well, I've got mates that were real good skaters from high school and that. But when I moved to Goldie, like a lot of these mates that well, I came here and met, like it's like anything with sport. It was like skate community is pretty tight. But then, like these guys, would look at mags, front covers, and shit, and then I ended up being homies. With them. Can they? Uh, is it? Can they? The make first a- time we all met, I said, "Come back to mine." I had this mansion in Burley when I first lived here. I'm like, "Come back to mine. We'll fucking do some drugs, right?" And they all rocked up. We done acid. Jezza ate like a fucking a grasshopper and shit. <laughs> and then um, we all got tattoos, and that's, that's how we bonding. all met on yeah. acid. And then yeah. we we're friends ever since. You can yeah, bond. See, drug yeah, bonding my is mate the got, best. My mate got fucking Wu Tang. Oh. What down his whole down leg. His leg and my other mate got NWA here and my other <laughs> like I was hell high and I had this you know those shaky snowy things? Yeah. It was a snowman thing. I was like, oh, hey, Pat, hold on to this. Man. Don't ever let it go. And he held on to it all night till his fingers were bleeding. And then he got it tattooed this big, but upside down. So he looks at it. Oh, my God. And it's a snowman. But then I got the nickname Snowy. It doesn't even make sense. And then Jez is walking around with a leg hanging out of his mouth of a, a grasshopper he ate, but it got caught in his beard. Oh. And like this is how we all, and then it just rolled on. That's yeah. the thing with drugs. That, that is one thing. There is, there's nothing as bonding as having a... Sesh with some friends, like it gets harder to bend now as you get older. Oh but yeah, like, that's fucked. But like, that's the one thing that that oh, like even if you know, w- you know, go completely sober, that'll be the one thing that you I can get so miss. spasticated and it's just allowed. Like, it's just like so how fun. far can you go fucking, trying <laughs> to freak out your mates? We're playing table tennis with pots and pans, but with eggs instead of ping pong. It fully didn't work. <laughs> that's <laughs> shocking that it didn't, didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, the onions worked, but like the. Fun- Man, I remember I've been on benders and like, I've been like, just like made it out like, all right, I'm going to force my dick into my ass and I'll get down and I'll- Fuck, we've had different benders, eh? (laughs) And like, I'll get down and I'll force and everyone's just sitting on the couch so fucked after like two days and then I'm just trying to jam my dick (gasps) into my ass, freak them out and everyone's just sort of- A lot of people are just sort of- Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get- As long as you're doing what makes you happy, (laughs) (laughs) granddad. Have you had had like, yeah, what's like some of your like fucked up party tricks that you go to? Or that you've seen, apart from your mate going through a windscreen, and <laughs> the worst thing about benders though is, you wake up the next day and you're like, "Fuck!" I remember laughing heaps and heaps, heaps but you don't heaps. remember nah. what. what? Yeah, so what like- I started doing, I was sick of that, so I started fucking voice recording on my phone and I'll put it in my pocket. Ah, <laughs> fuck, it's hilarious. Oh, what, just the whole it's night, just you nonsense. Voice yeah, well, I'll get to a point and I'll stop and then I'll put it back on. I'm like, and then I'll go through and fuck, I've still got them somewhere and I'll just fucking lose it. But I was always into filming too, like. Mm. Mm. I loved cameras as a kid so still this day I've got all this footage of benders and everyone's younger and long hair and no worries in the world and everyone's fat and got kids and it's way different but you can look back at the other time I was like get that camera in my face I'm like you trust me you'll, you'll love, love this yeah. Yeah. and then now but the worst thing is when you're the cameraman it's all everyone else but you Yeah, yeah you're not in them you're like look at this you're like fuck I'm not <laughs> in it like, you need a two sided camera so yeah, yeah, yeah. them and then just your eye and this is before iPhones and all that bullshit yeah. too yeah, so it's all disposable film. cameras I got like, shit yeah, yeah I got shit on photos. tape I got shit on card yeah. disposable all oh, that shit wow. yeah yeah, fuck. fuck. Have you got any? I'm the rad- worst person for you to have a birthday. Because like just- I could, no, I could put something up. Oh right, yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I've got all the people are very nice to me on <laughs> like my birthday because yeah. they know I've got bang. Like, <laughs> <laughs> last time I got Osti. <laughs> I had this footage of Austin because he lost a bet with me that we picked up this cow from this fucking farm, brought it back to Shami's. I was like, we made this like the odds of when it shits, you catch it and smear it on your face. <laughs> and it was his idea and he lost. And I've got the footage of him. But he catches the poo coming out of the cow. I was like, oh, it's poo, it's poo. And he runs over there, catches hot shit and goes like this. <laughs> and then I was like, Months <laughs> later, I was like, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they what don't like hero. it when they don't repost it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just cow shit. He's so warm. Oh, yeah. yeah it'd be uh, hot ex- almost. Ex- like, it would be good for your skin, probably. Yeah. Grass and shit. Yeah, well, I've been there, but with my own shit. <laughs> and Bosley's too. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, we've we've had what he's doing shit. with that. Well, we're gonna that because we got the segment the Matt versus Michael. So it's whoever wins uh, will get to keep it, and we'll get to do with with it whatever they want to do with it. And why would I what think would I have you an idea? Do with it? 
man, we were pretty close at Marty's Bucks to oh, yeah. funneling that into my ass. O- Austin opened it. Oh. <laughs> I'm seeing Blake's reaction to our Bender stories. <laughs> so fucking different. I thought we did rough shit. <laughs> Yeah, hey, there, was a, you, there was like fuck. six dudes in here like having like a conversation trying to convince Michael to just chug a bit up his ass. You yeah, went yeah. for it. Yeah. My, Michael fucking, was like, oh, my father, oh, my father-in-law it. was in the room as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. How Mike. was it? How was it? Did you just get pretty rowdy? Oh, man, it got so pretty fun. loose. Yeah. Yeah. Man, bucks are my new favorite thing ever. It's like- boy, New favorite? Yeah, it's well, the best thing. But like, because we haven't had that well, many. Close you know? mates and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's the best. That I get pissed off when- People are oh, getting married to a season. We're just getting married. I'm like, that's so selfish to gotta have that. Yeah. Like, where's the bender? Well, yeah. I, like, where's the bucks? Thinking about your friends. Let's get fucking married. <laughs> like, They're like, you still coming? No. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking bucks. Yeah, the wedding is the bucks. They're like, can you bring a present? What the fuck? I'm the present. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bring a present. Can't. There's so many engagement presents and wedding presents. It's like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. I want the free drinks and I'm a number. Yeah. Like, I don't fucking. Yeah, 100%. Never no, ends. But yeah, bucks is like a boys' trip on steroids. Like, it, it has to be fun. You know, it's so good. So it's good, just bro. chaos constantly. Like we had all the games set up. That's why that car looks all fucked. Yeah, we, that yeah, car wasn't meant to be destroyed, shit. but it was just Everyone some, just started think, hacking into like it with Henry arrows. Or you and or the first time threw a rock. Destroyed a car. And then as soon as uh, like people see a bit of disrespect towards an object, yeah, everyone gone. just Guys. gets- Kill it! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's cool? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, anything, yeah. Austin got up there and took a shit on the bonnet. <laughs> yeah, that's as soon as he rocked up, bang, it was there. Yeah. I'm taking a shit on that car. I filmed it. Yeah. That's a good birthday post. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you do that one, I'll do the cow shit. <laughs> shit with Take it out like he's got some shit fetish behind when the cameras are off. <laughs> oh. Yeah, have you got any other banger bang, uh, bender stories? So you got your mate that's gone through the windscreen. Your mate who's had a pool cue go through him. Is there anything in the top of your head? Man, there's like, <laughs> there, there would be fucking so many. It's just like, hard. See, you can like, even write a, a Bender Stories book. Yeah. Because that's what- Blake's like, Bender Story book. Yeah. Yeah, like, because Bender Bend Stories- Bend it like Blake'em. <laughs> Bend- <laughs> nah, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, Bender Stories are the best. Blake it till you make it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, there's, there is heaps, man. But fuck. Yeah, I don't know. What's your longest Bender period? Like, how long have you gone? Oh, so no yeah, sleep? three and a half. Three and a half days? Mm. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Without I, sleeping? Yeah. Yeah. You start to get like hear voices and delirium happen. Depends on what stuff you take, really. Yeah, it's it's um it can get dark after two. But those days are gone. Yeah, kind up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many? Are gonna be worried now because I've got a normal job. <laughs> no, no it's, uh, dude, I can't yeah. believe you still go as hard as you like. Well, I, I I I the problem is that I fucking get pissed off with like how I feel this morning. It's bullshit. I never used to get hungover or nothing like that. But if I have one nighters, I'm like, Ugh. but if I bend her, I am so fucking good. Really? Like, I no hangover, no come down. Yeah, like, once you have six beers the next day, you're back to normal. No, so this is what I'm trying to do today is get that. See, I'm starting to feel better already. So get the medicine's well. That's what I mean. Once you get to six but after with the with the with the bender, I can come home. It's fucking <laughs> birds chirping, or it's in the arbor. I won't even go straight to bed. I'll watch TV, stay up. The next day I'll get up at eight, like nothing happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay. like nothing. So it's better for you to go through to the exactly. afternoon the next day. Yeah, than it's it not is. better for the miso, but it's better for me. <laughs> yeah, mm. okay. No, That's pretty much why mine have cut back down, like, cause yeah, the miso hates it, but like, I still, I, I was still out of the crew that, my crew that's banded heaps. I'm still one of the last ones to kind of do it cause they're, they've had kids. Yeah, like, you know, all that kind of shit. <laughs> and to me, it's like one of the saddest things. It is like fuck, man. Well, that's like, why you got to cherish things like boys trips or bucks, like those hundred percent times where you do have it. You got to make the most of it. Because like every time we'd go, like before I worked with Charmy and that, like we'd do trips and we went to Sydney and <laughs> I was always just staying up by myself and everyone was in bed and I'll just bend her to and the <laughs> next one. Like they're like, "What are you? Are you still up, Carmen? Like, What's up, boys? Like, what are you doing by yourself? I'm like drinking." <laughs> like and just off my head and they're like fuck Blake just keeps going like yeah. and I'll just do it by myself because I'm like well I've got this fuck and I don't want to waste the money yeah yeah you like, put there like when people 
get I drugs know, or exactly drugs. You're like, you you're kind of no, wasting exactly. it. <laughs> Michael would get angry at us if we go to bed. I remember like four Michael or five would, in the morning. Michael would wake us angry up at us. and lie to us, say that there's something crazy going on outside to try and get us up. And then we'd, you know, get all oh, fuck, oh, fuck off. He'd convince us to get up saying like, there's something crazy going on outside. And then we walk outside and there was no one there. <laughs> well, since you're up, you may as well have a beer. Yeah, yeah. I remember in Europe, because I went to Europe. <laughs> They were in Europe a week before me because I had to stay for work or some shit. Anyway, I get to Europe. I'm so excited. I'm flying to London. I'm expecting them to like be congratulating me as I come down the escalator at the airport. No one's there. And I'm ready to bend <laughs> We're up. All like fucked. I've already had a few on the plane. I'm so excited. It's two months of just traveling Europe, <laughs> doing drugs. So I'm so excited. Get to the hostel. They're all like this, just hung over as shit. Half of them have oh, like no. food poisoning. So they've just been shitting, shitting, shitting. I'm so sad because I need drinking buddies yeah, straight away. 100%. It's 7 a.m. And then and I was it like- it pushes you when you got someone else. Though. Yeah, exactly. So I'm so sad. And then I'm like, all right, how am I going to- What do I have to do what can to inspire get you out guys? of bed? Like, what if I eat my own shit, will you guys get up and party with me? And Henry pops his head up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you went? Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm that's really, the thing to get you up? I it's on like, the website, actually. We, we posted that on the website, that footage. <laughs> And it's like all this old footage of us, yeah, like in he's Europe, hot shit but, in his hand, and he has a bite out of it. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. And then what it, the fuck? Put him up, and then I had drinking buddies for the next two. Do you even bo- like? Do you even bother brushing your teeth anymore? I had to brush my teeth after that. Oh. That was rough. I didn't actually swallow it. I just sort of chewed it, and then yeah, I was. Hey, does shit like even does like plain <laughs> food to you taste real good? No, you think so. Stuff no, he's so fussy. Me. He's such a fussy. Really? You're fu- fussy. Yeah, very yeah. fussy. What? Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> you're fussy. <laughs> Next minute you're eating a fucking spew cake. It's not like I enjoy it. It's like I just had to do that too. But get you can't be fussy buddies. after that. You can't. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, like, I, yeah, this I needs was more kid. salt. <laughs> I was a kid. If, if, if your carrots were touching your peas or mashed potato, I wouldn't eat it. It has to be separate. Yeah, like that level that. fussy. Yeah, but but with gross shit, Your food has like gender equality or some shit. Yeah, exactly. Split them up. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, nah, that was like- I'm he, surprised. She always wanted, it's so much better with a drinking buddy. 100%. But is, like, man, 100% if you is. have to, you would go by yourself because you know that they'll wake up the next day and then you just- you, you, yeah, I, I you feel, the, the thing that I've wanted to do, and I wish I did it the whole time, and I, I don't think it's like how high you are all the moment. I think it's when your brain gets to like the most tired state and it's running on fumes. I think like shit's so funny. Yeah, you're right. Like, but like, like I'd love in that moment to record or write it down because I reckon there's so much gold there. Hundred. Mm. I reckon there's so you see life in a different form, yeah. and there's so much good ideas and shit that's just never done. And you're like, how the fuck do I think of that? And you're like, I'll remember that tomorrow. And then tomorrow, you're like, what Why? the fuck was yeah. it again? It's I a lot of time. That. It's just simple shit too that makes it so funny. Hundred percent. Or weird noises and actions and movements. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so well, just Marty storytelling. Do. What we're trying to do now, and try and remember. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, I've seen Marty sometimes. He, like he's just so bent on MDMA that his back just concaves up, and he. <laughs> and like, just, it looks like he's like possessed like he's just like something out of the exorcist he's just concaving and making the strangest sounds I've ever heard a human being make and he just keeps doing it and you just watch in wonder like how is doing? that real <laughs> yeah. starts floating above the bed dude oh, ah! the, so much MDMA you see like electri- electricity in coming out of your and throat. literally <laughs> linking the fingers I was like dude can you see the it? powerpoints <laughs> are like <laughs> he's Oh, really, I just had a fucking knife in the toaster. Turns into Vegeta. Oh, oh, <laughs> He's man. gone Super Saiyan on MDMA. Car. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't ever had a bend. Yeah, together. I know. It's yeah, fucking insane. Shit. We yeah. need to lock one of them in. Yeah, and we will to beat her to our problem. We'll have a journal. Yeah. We'll have a camera <laughs> yeah. and we'll yeah, beat I, that yeah. problem. Because like, we'll I get fucking the voice hate that. That happened recently. We had a really funny fucking night and I was like, man, I remember laughing so much. That was your box. Was it? Yeah, we're yeah. on the roof. No, I feel like even more recent than that. <laughs> yeah, this fuck, it's, it's got just... my pocket. I was trying to like, <laughs> fucking, I forgot that I'm in this outfit. <laughs> this come out. Oh yeah, I forgot. That. It kind of looks like that's just what you I'm wear. Like, so I, I have, that's it's our bond. That's our bond. That's funny. Oh wow, there's this list, list yeah. a oh, massive yeah, list of episodes what, And so there. what is that? Just I, like video kinda ideas? Kind of like, what I started doing, like a drunk or something, I'll be like, oh, I'm not gonna fucking. I started doing it, guys. Oh, yeah. I see or when mean. I see something, yeah, I would write it. Yeah. But a lot of it is, yeah, when I'm wasted or when someone, you know, when you have just a good yarn with someone 
And you're like, yeah, yeah, I agree too. And you're like, how fucked is that? And you're like, that's a topic that can be a skit yeah, easily. Yeah. Because when you try and make skits, you're like, uh, fuck. Yeah. You need to start somewhere. Mm. And I reckon when you're having and conversing with someone, you get to the highest peak with a mate, especially over drinks or drugs or bendering or whatever. And you're like, I remember that. Yeah. And so, yeah, I started writing shit down. But there's been a lot where I have missed. I'm like, fuck. Because you tell yourself, I'll definitely remember that. Just gets or like you write down something Especially short within cat, like 20 minutes cat joke you're like what the fuck was that yeah. cat joke yeah exactly it's that you haven't detailed it enough at no. all. like I, when you were younger yeah. and you'd save a chick's number as random one surface yeah. like who the fuck is that cunt <laughs> like who, why don't you just put their name in yeah a yeah. time stamp taxi or something line. yeah yeah like, yeah taxi line hot yeah. six out of ten yeah. Oi, br- yeah. Oi, brunette looks like she puts out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just when you're hell younger eh? you had these random fucking hot ass <laughs> you ring it some guy's like hello and you're like, what the fuck who the fuck is this I drove you home last night why are you under hot ass <laughs> we had sex <laughs> you're like what the fuck is going on man oh man even oh. like even like to be an uber driver for a night man and get those stories yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's what we did. Do. do you know what I mean? Oh, just do man. it and just re- not recall on their consent, but just like ideas. You're like, oh, this chick, he fucking loves me. She loves you. Like, yeah, you're a loser. Man, the best was the arguments, the couples. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That good. was always good. I had a few, yeah. I've seen you look at her. I've seen you look at oh, him. Oh, yeah. Seen, no, I did it. No, I did it. Yeah, oh, dude. man. It was so good. It was like, but there was reality some shit TV. ones too, like at about midnight when you'd be picking people up to drop them out. It was like a group of like, because th- th- no one respected Oh, did you, you actually do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't see that. All three yeah, of us. No, I was actually yeah. the highest rated Uber driver in Queensland. Thank <laughs> Wait, you. Wait, did you sign up? Oh, yeah. yeah we, we, no, this is before we'll, we were making money from videos. Oh. <laughs> Try, we were just trying to get by. And this so is like, early. You guys have come far. <laughs> this is early. All yeah. weekend. We Ubered all yeah. weekend just to make enough money so we could make videos during the week. Yeah. We do like 16 hour shifts Now you just ruin cars For fun uh, yeah. I can't yeah. even need the cars Now, for transport. We, now we prank Uber yeah, each drivers Exactly yeah. Oh can. yeah So I was like I fucking had to eat Before I came Because I was like Oh no when I get there I'll order some And I was like Oh actually They're probably blacklisted <laughs> like after that Uber Eats shit, can you guys order food here anymore? Yeah, Dude, yeah. it's it's been fine. Yeah, it's been fine. Hasn't, 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 that shit was like, funny. The people are like, yeah, like, ah! like what? Dude, I liked how the doors opened. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the best part. Yeah, that's good. VFX con. That was <laughs> sick. <laughs> CGI. Yeah, man. yeah so that went off. Someone called the cops on that. Yeah, that's I love so that funny. the cops came Two and you went with it with the cops. Yeah, very good. The cops were what were they like in the end? They were really chill. Yeah, we did it to them. And they're just like, oh, okay, what well, the fuck? Got, and fuck, that'd be funny if you got tasered straight. <laughs> That's what we were saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just shot in the head of me. <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> it's just a prank. But he still stays in character. With oh, yeah. gun, it's gun just gun. a prank. You're like, we don't like pranks. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, okay, fuck me. <laughs> He died doing what he loved. <laughs> Granddad's at least he oh, was happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck. Oh, yeah. Man. Good times, eh? But, uh, but yeah, yeah we we're fully Uber Uber drivers and Yeah. <laughs> pieces of shit, really, for a while. Nah, you're not a piece of shit. Not anymore. If, right? I, if they paid well, I'd still do it. No, so not not like, Uber drive, but we were really slumming it. Oh for yeah, a while. like man. But that's, like, that's 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 cool though, like to people that like you don't get the backstory of because people were saying, oh, you make content, it's just easy. It's fucking not. Mm. Yeah. No, we we're making videos yeah. for four years without anything. You're reinventing yourself all the time. You're trying to get some attention. And then we, we started doing Facebook Lives and hurting each other, and that started going well. So we were just like, yeah, yeah. bruises and scratches, that. y'all. Yeah. No, that's good. So you still Uber drive on the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, honestly, I enjoyed it. So I would if it paid well. But like, it's just... Is it that it's, bad? It's, it's oh, it's, you end up getting dude. 10 bucks an hour. No, one of the cunts don't want to hear us talk, hey, nag on me. Yeah. Yeah, fuck her. Hey, it's been busy or... Yeah. Yeah. Like, you only like, do anything else, mate. I don't get paid enough to give a fuck about answering your questions, yeah. It used to be good because then there was never regulated and then as soon as they brought in all the regulations... Is that because the taxi drivers were like, it's not fair. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah it was. They, they, I immigrated that. this country fair and square. Because they had to pay. <laughs> you know, taxi drivers have to pay. 200 grand to, For a yeah. fucking yeah, taxi for a license. Yeah. That's why they were so annoying. But that's their problem, though. Yeah, like, exactly. get a better career. That's yeah. not anyone else's yeah, problem. Yeah, that's your decision. Like, if, they, if, if you in life went... 
you know what? I've got a good idea. I'll pay 200 grand and drive cunts around. That's your problem. Like, that's yeah, a, it's a bad plan. investment. That's a shit yeah, It's a plan. bad investment, you know? Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> but man, yeah, I just, oh, you just get baked and drive around. Best fucking job. Do you ever. know what you guys should do? <laughs> you guys should, uh, this is something that I re- was going to write down. I just remembered. Go to airports. You don't have to fly anywhere, but go to that queue and ask for the shortest ride. And they get so pissed off. I've been What's here for three hours. Like, it doesn't matter, cunt. Your job is to oh, drop people right. off. Yeah, yeah, so in yeah. Perth, because oh. you get to terminal, there's another side of the terminal. It's like a 10-minute drive. Yeah. It's weird. It's like, it must be from like shit. So air. you say, i got to go to the other yeah, terminal. Yeah, and they're like, yeah. oh, and they're just front this long line. They're like, no, no. I'm like, is your job not to fucking, I did that. And he goes, no, you can get the bus. I go, I don't want a bus. You're the fuck, you're a taxi driver. He's like, no, but I've been three hours. I go, yeah, and you've got a fare now. But it's a 10 minute drive. It'll be like 15 bucks and they go back in queue. But just to film it and get yeah, those reactions yeah. is yeah. fun. Or just get in there and yeah, sit there. It would be, it would be upsetting. Like, like you go to the valley and you ask to go home. They're like, where do you want to go? I'm like, Ashgrove. Doesn't like, matter. No, it's not quick. It's not, it's too, it's too close. And they're going to go next taxi. But like, what, it's, but is it too close to walk? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like that's why I'm asking yeah, yeah. you. No, they want their long trips. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can long fuck out of here, Carl. I'm getting get a different fucking job. Man. That's when you spit on their face, can't? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hectic like that. I like no, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. You got one job. Mm. It's like going to fucking a restaurant, order and food. Like nah. No, no you got to order more. Yeah. yeah. What you only you want better that. be getting dessert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, we should definitely make sure we have a bender before we completely quit the bendering. Yeah. Well, once you get a fire marshal over here and clean up this shit, um, yeah. we could probably fucking turn make it, it, make it a bit good. safer. We should have a big fucking when we get kicked out of here. We should have a big fuck off party just the day before. How yeah. long you got? How long you got? We're in a rolling three month yeah, lease, so know. we don't know. Could be. That sounds annoying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's scary. scary. Very okay, scary. guys, we're going to put you on the rolling system. <laughs> and then, like, what do so we do? pretty much Where do we go? Yeah. Yeah. Like, At any you point, get... you could roll on out of here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, like, and you know, they're demolishing this house. So, they like, this, you, we could not have found a better place, a better situation. You no, you could. Years. Closer to Goldie, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, they don't give a shit what we do here. What's yeah. that brick for, Carl? Is that your like exit? That was a chair I tried to give Brown, but he refused to have it. Yeah, I didn't That's want to a sit chair. On that. Yeah. yeah. We, we get a chair every five episodes. He gets a brand new one, don't you, Brown? Actually, yeah? we're probably due it's for It's just a, new a big Nutri Grain block. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, it really is. <laughs> I never you, thought about it. Usually like that. they're really well thought out <laughs> chairs. Holy shit, it is too. A brick is just a big Nutri Grain. just tiny bricks. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you sick of eating normal cereal? <laughs> have a brick up your cat. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was like, oh, what could it be? What shape? I love Lego. I love bricks. Oh my God. Bricks. <laughs> Bricks. Yeah, well, wow, bricks are just maxi nutri gains. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See, you learned something today. Huh? Thank Write you. that down, mate. Let's go. All right, Blakey. Well, fucking uh, thanks heaps for coming on. Been good. I'm glad you guys got me into hot outfit and didn't turn a fan on in here. It's super. <laughs> yeah, we. I think the fan. Oh, I know how to make bloke feel better. He's hung over. Let's make him sweat. Sweat would be fun. Sweat it out of here. Do you always get people in this outfit and make them sweat? <laughs> no, no. I don't know. I was just thinking. I was gonna put that in on Marty and have you in this. But no, he would be sweating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We all. Well, thanks for having us, guys. And it's always good to see you. And mm. sorry I couldn't spew, but. No, that's I, I, I was prepared. I had the. Have you? Am I the first guy to bring a bucket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah so. You're the first. We do have buckets around somewhere. There's one there. Trying to talk. Oh, about there you go. Buckets. Yeah, well, there we go. Oh, don't want to boast, but yeah, we do have buckets <laughs> lying around. <laughs> Some quality conversation. <laughs> Bong break. <laughs> All right, cheers, oh, guys. No, Peace, no, everyone. Oh. See you later, Blakey. Bong break, everyone. We'll be right back with fucking Mad vs. Michael. <laughs> We're back. All right. No. Matt versus Michael. It's 11 to 13. Before, you Before start, we start, can I just say. Can I just say. Because um, um, I was so I was excited about, about Blake. Blake I, I kind of forgot oh, to. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So I'm so sorry. But there was it was really good. I, I actually didn't have anything to, to give today. But then I was at the post office. And I didn't realize that the post office is quite the sticker salesman. Oh. And I picked up something. 
It's incredible. Well, no wonder you didn't mention this when Blake was here because it's the fucking. Were you ever bashed or just like verbally assaulted at school? Just verbally. Oh, okay. Oh, someone threw a punch at you. Once. <laughs> yeah, there's some punches thrown. I thought it was for different reasons, but you could be right. Okay. Covered in stickers. Anyway, there's all these different types of stickers, and I found this construction one. There's a whole bunch of construction ones, and um, they had a concrete truck. You know, those which are really kids. talks to me. And um, so yeah, I've got a little concrete truck for my. It's like he's uh, building a, l- put it a right lure there. for children. A little concrete yeah, truck. Yeah, all the colours. And there, that's it. Little Thank you, truck. man. Anyway. Yeah, that was my day. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. <laughs> Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come. Oh, ooh, what's the come? Come have fun. Bottle of cum. Um, And this is where Matt and Michael go head to head against each other. And the winner at the end of the season will win this bottle of mints. It's actual mints. It's actual mints. What? What are you pointing at? I don't know. You're sitting up. Hey, I'm getting ready. This is fucking serious. Uh, You're two behind. 13 11 to Michael currently. You've come back. And um, yeah, so it's getting very close. Every week they battle it out. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. Now for today's competition, we find out who is fastest at building a pyramid with these cups. So when I say go, I'll start the timer and you must build a pyramid using these cups. Four at the base, then three, then two, then one at the top. If your pyramid falls, you fucking start again, cunt. Scissors, paper, rock. Fuck! Okay. Who who do you want to go first, Matt? You want Michael to go first? Are you sure? Because like, you've got to be good under pressure to go second. I don't know. I just want to see what he does, see if there's any techniques. All right, so I will place the 10 red cups on the table. And when I say go, that's when you begin, okay? All right. Wait, 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 wait. This is so fucking hectic. Okay, wait. Can I start with them like this? No, has to be the other way around. And you both must start with them like that. Okay, holy shit. So wait, it is four at the bottom. Three, two, Two, one. one. Whoa, whoa. Your time starts. Oh, wait, wait. (laughs) No! Okay. I thought you said you would win this. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Your time starts in three, two, two one. one, go. Oh my ah! god! Stumble bumble! Stumble bumble 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 Stumble bumble baby! Oh ho ho! That's eight seconds down, baby. Come have fun. Come have fun today. He's going fast, fuck Lynn. Hurry up, Michael! Hurry up, Michael! Get there! Oh stop! Ooh, 16.94 well done, seconds. That's very good. 16.94. All right, that's not bad. All right, we have to hand them to Matt the same way. Hang on. Oh. Damn it. You <laughs> saw my tactic. <laughs> God, that was so pressure. I, never could I fucked up too. 16.94. There was moments of fuck up. There was moments All of- right, so he's left the door ajar for Matt to win here. All right. <clears throat> what, that, what was it? 16.94. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. <sighs> Holy okay, man. shit. Oh my God. Uh, come in. Your time starts in three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Nah. There's no way. Oh, oh there's one on that. Down. You got to unlock Five seconds that one. down. Oh yes, oh, he man. fucked up. Yes, he fucked up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on, Matt! Oh. You still got time. You still got time, Matt! Quick, Matt! Quick, 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 quick! Oh, I knew it's it. Over. I knew it's it. Over. The pressure got to the brown. They all got stuck together. I don't think. Uh, no, you couldn't see. You, you, you on, your eyes don't work. <laughs> Anyway, all fuck, right. I'm good. All right. Yes. Michael wins this week. It's 14 to 11. Three ahead. That's a Three lot. Three ahead. Yeah, that's nearly a month. But still. Oh, wow. It's I very can't catchable. It. Very, very catchable. I think there you go. jammed them together too hard. Yeah, I did jam a bit. Oh, man, I'm fucking good. I'm yeah, a put fucking your, god. Put your headphones that. back on, Matty. Oh, go. man. I'm Egyptian. That's how good I am building pyramids. I am a sore loser, but... I think there was a bit of cheating there. Oh my god! No, you—you you honestly thought you saw two there, and you built that as the base, man. No, because I, I, I was struggling to pull them off. Yeah, well, that's like yeah. It. You sound like me. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, let's move right along now. Um, and before we continue, we we've we've seen the comments of everyone talking about um, a little upset about the shorter 
episodes. Obviously, this episode's a bit longer because we had Blakey on, but um, where our goal is to get it to a to a to a nice hour fifteen, hour twenty ish, um, a podcast. Okay, um, just it, it, keeping it that length. I know it's an, a bit annoying that you know we've kind of shaving like twenty to half an hour off, but um, one, it's just less for us to have to do. Um, and two, it's just it's just more appealing to, um, to to newer people. Yeah, new listeners. And if we want to build the podcast, you're not going to sit down. If you yeah. see your first ever podcast from us, it's like two and a half hours long. Yeah. And, and like it. as much as we, we you know love our current community, and we really do, we love the fucking podcast and we'll never, ever fucking stop, can't. But, you know, we do need it to um, continue to grow. So mm. that's just what we've been told. And we uh, can't give too much away, but we do have a method of making sure that our podcasts aren't age restricted anymore, but we may need to miss one week of posting. Mm. Okay. So just bear that in mind. If you see us not post for a minute, we'll give you guys as much. Um, That'll probably start up soon. Yeah, well, uh, probably next next week. So this we will be, not. yeah, this will so be. So there, there may be one week where we don't post anything and then the following week we'll be back for the rest of the season and um, but we'll we'll have a way to make sure that our videos aren't getting age restricted we're learning we're, we're, we're on to something here okay Try and and go it's exciting so fucking keep commenting keep liking keep subscribing five star reviews on Spotify we're gonna get the videos on Spotify as soon as it's available f- through the uploading uh, platform that we use so our, our videos will also be on Spotify it's just things are going better now alright fuck yeah cunt fucking cunt can't yeah age restricted for swearing oh, hot sick mess hot hot sick <gasps> magma you have all the questions and we have all the answers and we've got lots of dances for you oh fuck that is good <sighs> it right. looks good on the recording too Oh. Thank you. All right. Anyway, right, moving right along to Matt's favorite segment. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. It's Matt's Tinder Adventures, everybody. Hit it, Matt. I've got something to tell you guys. Play the fucking thing first. Oh. Play it. Hit it, Matt. T I N D R. We have Matt's Tinder. Ha ha ha. Matthew Brown has lost control. Now these women will lose their souls. What's happened, man? No, I cut that kind of because I just realized I can't say it. Oh. I'll, t- I'll tell you guys after. Oh, fuck you. You've got to say it now. Shut up, shut up. I can't. I just realized I was like, oh, fuck, I probably can't say that. Damn it. I shouldn't yeah. have made him play that because then he wouldn't have had time to think. Yeah, I just realized I've got there's too many demons in the there. closet. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, this is a segment where Matt, <laughs> in his early 40s, he can't find a partner. He's struggling. He's so alone. We've all got, you know, we're getting married. We've 36. got beautiful life partners. We go and hang out with all of our friends, have really lifelong partners, and we all love each other, and it's really beautiful. And Matt is the only man alone, single, following us around. It's so sad and lonely. He's got no one in life. You kind of sound he's like you're being mean. Terrible. Just, it's just excruciating to see. So we've taken over his Tinder. And it's so all the pictures are of Matt Brown. It's Matt Brown on Tinder, but we do the talking to these girls. And we try and talk exactly how Matt would talk. No, you don't. Pretty close, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. T I N D R. So let's see what conversations Matt has come up with this week. All right. So this girl starts the conversation, so which is pretty cool. <laughs> She's king. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm grinding my teeth right now, sitting in traffic. My back molars have cracked from it. What kind of furniture you got? I've never been asked my sort of furniture I have, lol. Oh, true. <laughs> I've got mostly fantastic furniture. They've got some really good shit. I collect couches. Sounds weird, but I've got some unique ones that are worth probably like $600. Oh, that's different. My couch is from Fantastic Furniture. Oh, no way. Oh, that's so sick. What's the fucking color of it? What are the chances we both have Fantastic Furniture couches? I've got the creamy brown four-seater with an inbuilt recliner and cup holder. It's so fucking comfy, but not my all-time favorite. 
Lol, mine is a three-seater, nothing fancy, and it is light grey. Oh, yeah, I think I know the one. Great choice. Ikea has this fucking hectic new design for their couch, and I have to get it. It's got like a curved seat and like 13 cup holders. Want to come couch shopping with me sometime? Lol, sure, that would be a fun day out. Oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then we can assemble it and then test it out. <laughs> Let's uh-huh. fill those cup holders with your breast milk and urine. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, because that sounds like a fun thing to do. Stitch stakes together and make a blanket with them. I'm circling a homeless man. Not sure what you mean by stitch stakes together, lol. And why are you circling a homeless man? You know those little sizzle stakes? Buy like 100 to 150 of them and stitch them together to one blanket-sized stake. Then sleep with it tonight. I'm circling him because I think he's asleep. No one can see me doing it. Uh, yeah, I th- I'll pass on the meat blanket, thanks. Fair enough, each to their own if that's what you like doing. <clears throat> what, you would never try it? I did it in high school. Not the whole night, but a few hours. I'd do it again if you're a bit open-minded about it. I left the homeless man alone. I'm making eye contact with strangers and then holding it until they get uncomfortable and look away. <laughs> Such pussies. Knock me out, someone. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think I'd like to sleep under meat. Sorry, that's just me. It's more you wrap the meat around you. Honestly, it's extremely comfortable. Cold at first, but once your body warms the meat, it's so nice. Grab someone on the shoulder and when they turn to look at you, go cross-eyed and show them all of your teeth. See, now I think you're making this all up. That's honestly so unfair. I'm trying my best here. (laughs) Trying to have a conversation? Trying to be open and honest. No one ever takes me seriously. It's so hard. I crumble to my knees and look up to the ceiling. I feel tears gently roll down my face and I realize that I'm surrounded by humans, but I'm still all alone. Sorry you feel that way. It's just hard to be serious about wrapping oneself in some meat. Maybe I'm not that open-minded about that sort of stuff. I've just never heard of it before. (laughs) One thing you need to know about me is that I am unique. I'm a strange bitch and really fucking fatigued all the time. But underneath all that, I'm a soft, gentle man. If meat blankets aren't your thing, then we can skip that as part of our date. She hasn't replied. Oh, Oh, man. How does she... I don't get why they keep writing back. Like, fuck you. That's a great idea, though. Imagine a meat blanket. Like, that would feel like... Smelly. Yeah, maybe. But, like... Super fresh. I would hate it. Because the so texture gross. of it would be very oh, man, quite comfortable. What, what is with her fucking replying to that? That's so yeah. Anyway, the right, thing I know is like each to their own. No, <laughs> that's yeah, not like, normal behavior. Down, yeah, she yeah. should have abused you for that. I get more angry that they they continue. I guess like sad. It's real. So I genuinely feel a bit bad because they're like they anyway. love they love Matt. All right, <clears throat> this girl starts a conversation again. Very exciting. Why, hello there, Mr. Brown. How are you? Oh, Mr. Brown. I like that. I'm bleeding. Can you guess where I'm bleeding from? (laughs) Your heart? (laughs) My joints and gums. (laughs) Bad inflammation. Put a seagull in a coals bag and toss it into a wall as hard as you can. Why do you have inflammation? Are you assuming I could catch a seagull? One should never assume. I don't drink water. I haven't had water since I was in high school. It's so fucking gross, I can't stand it. Just soft drink and juice. I need some flavor and shit. What, you've never tried catching a seagull? Just put a chip in a rat trap. <laughs> so easy. I've caught like 18 seagulls a day before with that trick. Lifeguards were so angry, I had to leg it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest shit anyone has ever said to me on here. <laughs> you've never heard of using rat traps to catch seagulls? It was like a full thing at my high school. Never. Although I am from the Northern Territories, and we so we don't have seagulls here, lol. Oh, lol. Well, that explains it. <laughs> Ask anyone who grew up in Brisbane about seagull sandwiches. They'll know what you mean. <laughs> Do you know anyone who grew up in Brisbane? I have cousins who grew up here, so I'll ask one of them. Are you feeling better? Yeah, ask them now. Shoot them a text. I'm still bleeding from my gums whenever I eat anything. It hurts when I eat salty foods like chips. The salt gets driven into my split gums and stings. My joints are swollen with toxins, but I'm in the bathtub massaging the acid out. Oh. Oh, I have already messaged my cousin, but he's on night shift, so I might not hear back from him for a while, so she's texted her cousin. (laughs) (laughs) About seagull sandwiches. (laughs) I'm so sorry you have to go through that. Can a doctor give you anything to help? Or could the hospital put you on an IV drip? 
Yeah, seagull sandwiches were huge. Used to see like 10 to 20 rat traps with chips on them every time I went to the beach. Uh, my doctor keeps telling me to drink water and to eat healthier, but I'm not going to give up. Plus, I kind of like the feeling of my mouth filling with blood from my gums. It's got a distinct rusty flavor. Have you ever had a blood kiss? It's a kiss, but your mouth and tongue is bloody. Oh, oh. That is disturbing, but I see the humor in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, that does not sound like something I would enjoy. Perhaps your doctor knows what they're talking about. They might not either. Depends what sort of doctor you have. <clears throat> yeah, most of the time you could just let the seagulls go, but sometimes it kills them. Doctors all get the same bullshit education. They don't know shit. The research I've done suggests it's all mental. I will overcome my swollen joints and bloody gums and be stronger for the test. Then I'll fill my, find my wife and fill her to the brim with my potent seed. Well, I'm glad you have your master plan all sorted. You could be a part of my plan. You could be my filled up wife. Sadly, your potent seed would be wasted on me. I've had my children and there isn't any more in my future. Potent seed is never wasted. I've got a whole bottle full of it. Cling to me. I'm aware of more than you think. Oh, she has to reply. oh my God. What a fucking sentence. Cling to me. I'm aware <laughs> of more than you think. Imagine hearing that. Yeah, wow. All right, this is a good one. She, this girl starts, I think I read the beginning of this one last week. She starts with, nice beard. Can I sit on it? Oh, yeah. And Matt replies, yep. Can you come to mine? When? <laughs> <laughs> when are you free? Where do you live? Lockyer Valley. You? Wait, are you an actual influencer? You popped up on my TikTok. Would still smash you even though you have weird baby dolls glued to your bed. Oh. Can I suggest we use my bed though? Yeah, my stupid fucking mates are. My boss at work saw the video and I had to have a meeting about it. <laughs> I ended up punching a hole in the wall and storming out. Still work part-time though. Have you ever had gun sex? Oh my God. Gun? Like as in G- Gun. Yeah, wow, G- very, very good. Gun sex? Oh, holy shit. You haven't heard of gun sex? It's where you have sex and there's a loaded gun in the bed with you. The safety is on though, so there's no real chance of getting hurt. Just adds a layer of risk. Plus, guns are kind of sexy. Would you consider it? If I got my hands on a gun, I wouldn't be fucking with it. I'd be shooting certain people. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, I don't know if we can use it for that. It's my dad, so I just borrow it. So technically, I'm not meant to have it. <laughs> but gun sex is so hot. Even just seeing the gun in bed with us will be hot as fuck. <laughs> Look, that's not the weirdest fetish I've come across on here. Okay, fuck yeah, I'll pack my gun bag then. I've been so keen to try this, no one has been keen. They keep saying that a complete stranger bringing a loaded gun to their house is weird. So ridiculous. <laughs> I've only done solo gun sex, where I kind of put the tip, tip up me while I'm <laughs> flogging myself silly. What's the weirdest fetish you've heard about on here? I never said I was keen. I know you're taking oh. the piss. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I'm not taking the piss. It's an actual thing. I know it's a bit weird, though, so I don't expect anyone to do it. I think I'll just have to f save it for when I get a committed partner. Do you still want to fuck hard, though? Or were you joking about that, too? <laughs> oh, I thought I was just going to sit on your face. If I let you fuck me, do I then get to fuck you? I'll let you pick which strap-on you want me to use. So I cleared my calendar for the weekend because I wanted to watch you doing the solo gun sex. If you don't want to do it in person, can you at least send me a video? Oh, so you're a bit curious about the gun sex? Actually, though? Not keen to let you fuck me, though. Had some shit with my uncles so that made me hate anything up my ass. <laughs> she hasn't replied to that. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. That's fucking uh, great. <laughs> All right, this one's pretty good. <clears throat> Matt, how are you? I'm siphoning fuel from my neighbor's rod on lawnmower. <laughs> Been doing it for like six months. He has no idea. Every couple of weeks, I see him shaking his head and getting frustrated. I'm a bit cheeky, if you couldn't tell. What's your favorite football team? <laughs> oh, my fucking God. That's funny as fuck. Oh, the storm. <laughs> yeah, I pop my head out the window when I hear him trying to turn the mower on and watch him lose his temper. Once I took a massive shit and pegged it at his bedroom window while he was at work. He didn't even notice for a few days. It was fully caked on hard. <laughs> Oh, nice. I'm a massive Rabbitohs fan. My rabbits would fucking destroy your storm any day. I kick field goals in my spare time. Oh, <laughs> she just stopped replying. That's rough. <laughs> that is rough, dude. That was very good. If I don't see her out. So again, she starts the conversation. Hi, Matt. How's your weekend going? I'm making sheep sounds on a train right now. <laughs> so many weird looks, it's hilarious. On my way to South Bank to watch Barbie. What are you having for dinner? 
I have no idea yet. You should have like 10 apples. <laughs> Imagine if you did that. Just out of, <coughs> just put like eight in a microwave for five minutes. Have you seen Barbie yet or what? This is my second time watching it alone. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't ride back. She didn't ride back to that. Did she unmatch though? Catching the train to it. <laughs> Taking sheep sounds. <laughs> God, that must be a weird moment. Oh man that's So weird way. that they don't write back She might <laughs> She might yeah, Anyway that's um, That's that's <clears throat> that's Tinder's adventures this week And um, yeah Hopefully by the end of the season You'll have a wife I'm gonna put it out there I don't think I'm gonna have a wife by the Well end of at least season. you get plenty of roots from it cunt I don't think I'm gonna get laid <laughs> Anyone coming to the podcast finale Make sure you fu- have a fuck of Matt Brown Someone have yeah, a fuck of him Someone fuck Matt Someone have a fuck of him He needs to get a fucking fucking fuck Would you out. Hey. Okay even guys Yeah guys and girls And anything no, Just have a fuck of this, him Because the guys will be keen Have a fuck of him Have a fuck of the Brown On the fucking podcast finale. Actually Just fuck have a fuck it. of him Yeah fuck it I'll do it guys your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha 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 ha! It's prank call time. Mm. All right, and for this week's prank call, we got a fucking crazy idea. We've done it before. We're gonna try it again. Where Darren is gonna call a sex shop and say that a butt plug that he's bought from them has disappeared up his miso. Come on. Thank you for calling. Speaking with Bree, how can I help uh, you? How, how are you? Um, uh, my name's Darren. Um, I come in, um, I think, uh, early last week, um, and I come in with my partner, and we bought a um, one of your um, butt plugs, um, and um, we've just been using it, and um, I don't know what's like going on, but it's like it's kind of gone in sort up. Like, I can't see the end of it anymore, and she's kind of panicking and freaking out. Like, do you, do you know what to do in this scenario? Like, I, I don't know how to get it out. That's a situation where you'd have to go to the hospital. Oh, no, see, that's like so fucking embarrassing. But like, I, I can't go to the hospital because then, like, what if her parents and shit find out? And like, then they, you know, ask why'd you go to hospital and shit? Don't you have something? Surely, if you sell butt plugs, like, there's got to be something you guys sell to help. Get it out or something, like, or does no? This... You need to go to the hospital. There's nothing no, that we what can do. do unfortunately, no, no, no. That's so embarrassing. Do you understand? If I go to the hospital with her, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, nah, we've we'll you know muck around. Unfortunately, muck once more. we've sold the item, it's in your hands. How you use it is unfortunately your responsibility. Well, it went if up you... so easy. Like I didn't even put it in. I barely just rested me me fucking thumb on it, and she's fucking. There's gone. nothing that we can do. Unfortunately, you'll have to go to the hospital. Oh, no, you really. If there's nothing else that what, I can so help you out have, with, then... wait, so you don't have anything that can like scoop in and lock pair of tongs or something that pulls out butt plugs and that no what does has has anyone called in rot and had this problem before and what's happened with them like does, like if we just leave it for like a day is there a good chance she could lock pull it out and that you need to go to the hospital unfortunately there's nothing else I that can't i can help go you to with. the hospital you don't understand like her parents already think i'm fucking something twisted can't lock like, i'm can't sorry there's, the i can't do anything else you to sold help me this you, pro- you sold us this product you can't just do this like you've got to have warnings and that <laughs> i'm calling her back yeah i i could feel the hang-up coming thank you for calling you can't, can be, do- you can't be doing that to people hanging up on them. Look, you sold a product. He's got to lock. You must be liable, right? Because that's like going up, and she's like full panicking on that now. Look, I could sue you. I could sue you. I could sue you, and especially after the treatment. Look, how's your boss? Look, I'm calling in, calling about a product you sold me. What, what would okay, your boss think? What would your boss think? What would your boss think if I told your boss, like, oh yeah, I'll call and she's fucking hung up on me? Look, I'm I'll fucking stressed now. I need you to. I need you to understand, look, this is fucking stressful. Look, I'm fucking What's freaking out. What's your first out. name? Darren. I'll pass it along. Darren, yep, yeah. and your mobile number. I mean, what do you want me to give you me mobile number? So that I can pass it along to my boss so that you can give him your complaint. I don't, what, 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 where's your boss? Like, you pass my number on to him. Like, it's going to take days. I need help right now. Do you understand? Like, my Go to the hospital she's then. Unfortunately, that's all that we can lying, do. Lying in bed, freaking out, right? Listen, I need you to calm down. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to help you. I'm coming in. If you're right, going I'm to coming. speak to me like this. Okay, look, look, I'm, I'm, this is a stressful situation, right? We can both Listen, both I understand agree. that it's stressful, but if you're going to yell at me, there's not a lot that I can do to okay, help oh, you. Okay, look, I'll just... I'll, I need you to speak slower, okay, please. all right, all right, look, I'll calm down, all right? 
<sighs> this is just the situation I've never, that you've explained to me. I've never if it done, is I've genuine, never like this. you, you have I mean? to go to the hospital. There's nothing that I can actually do to help well, you. Let's work as a if team. If you'd like to leave a complaint, I'm happy to grab your details so that I can pass it along. Okay. All right, no, but that is the extent no, of what I can fair. do. What if, look, okay, I'm throwing this out there, okay? Another another option here. What if we come in, you've got lube, right? You've got fucking shitloads of lube there. We well, don't got no lube here, right? We come in, we lube her up, okay? I dive in with, like, a pair of tongs or something, and we see if we can grab the end of it, because, like, it just slipped up. Like, surely it, it can't be too far up, uh? So I'll come in, and, and, and we'll get some lube, and, like, you know, I'll need someone to part her che- cheeks and that, and then I'll dive in and grab it out. There is nothing else that I can do to help you at what, this moment. Why, why can't you, we you try have that? To- why can't we at least just please try that? And then if that doesn't work on my mum's life, I will call that ambulance. We'll go straight to hospital, but I just I'm need just your help. I'm just letting you know that I am about bubbler. to hang up again because, unfortunately, this is an inappropriate conversation to be having. Oh, does it dissolve? Do you need medical help? Does you it dissolve? Does it, do you know? Okay, just another few questions about the product then, okay? If you aren't willing to help, just please. Does it dissolve? Is it, like, made to, like, dissolve if it is, like, does it, if it does disappear, like, will it dissolve after a few days? You know, like, how shit, like, just, like, like goes away I'm once sorry. it's here. I'm going to need you to speak just a little bit clearer, please. Okay. Do you know, Locke, if the butt plug can dissolve once it's upper? No, it cannot. So that will, that's done now, Locke. That's, that's there. That's set. That's not coming out. I have already explained to you that the situation is not something that we are able to handle. Unfortunately, if it has happened, you will need to take her to the hospital. That is not something that I can handle. Right. I said, I'm happy to take your details and pass it along if you do have a complaint about it. No, but no. I unfortunately am not right. able to help with that in okay. particular. No, look, I respect that. Look, I respect you. It's kind of seeing your granny here and making sure like, that I, I get the message. Like, I'm, I'm like, coming on strong. It's like it's stressful. It must be to hear it as well, like, to hear what's going on here. So, like, I respect you as a human being and like you know we're both am I able to take your details to pass them we're along? both Australian and like I love this country and like I respect the system that you've got in place but can I just as a customer have a suggestion for you for one of your products maybe put a fucking warning label on it to say don't put it up the ass so fucking far because the fucking thing will f- disappear maybe I'm sorry, put, put, put a fucking I'm going on to be hanging up on you again because that's I'm not sorry. right that's not right right it's gone and she's fucking freaking out so oh my god <laughs> You should have told. That was fucked. I, oh. reckon- <laughs> I knew as soon as the the anger yeah, yeah, about the yeah. world, I knew like, once gone. angry Darren came, it was like she's out. Um, man, <sighs> man, she didn't fuck around. She's she, she doesn't. doesn't yeah, she she must have heard that before. She will not take responsibility for those butt plugs. Yeah, holy shit, it is dangerous. I wonder if that's ever actually happened to anyone. Hundred percent. Really, you reckon? Yep. Really? Aren't they like quite wide at the end? Wouldn't it happen with dildos more? Because does, doesn't Both. butt plugs... I met a doctor once and they were telling us stories of emergency where people would come in uh, with like sex toys stuck in them. And like one guy was like fucking his chicken. She was shoving the, the vibrator up him. Oh. And because and the ass is like a suction. And so eventually it just went and just sucked it. So by the time he got there, it was like coming up in his abdomen. Oh. Still going. What it travels further. Yeah, it pushed up, and and they were still vibrating. Yeah, the guy was like, "Man, those." He, he the joke to me was like, "Oh man, those Energizer batteries just keep on going." And the thing was like, Z-Z-Z-Z. and the dude was super embarrassed, like he was like distraught. And so, like to make him feel better, they they bagged it up and sent it off to, for a, to the scientist to say, "Oh, we pulled something out of someone. We don't know what it is." And so <laughs> to make him giggle a bit. Oh, very. That's and they, and they all that got plug's jokes. got like a thing in the end, right? So it doesn't it go all the way in. No, because you get ones that are too small, I think, and they just go. So you push too hard, they'll go in. Well, maybe it's an experiment. There you go, everyone. Be careful out there when using butt plugs. Please use with caution, okay? If you do it, because they're not going to help you get it's it. It's a out. hospital trip if you push it too far. <laughs> I feel like you've done it. No, I've just been. Have you used butt plugs? Yes, with one girl I have. Yeah. What you you put it in your own ass? No, she did it for me. She's like, "Hey, would would you try this?" And I was like, "Oh no." She goes, "I mean, if I put it in, I was like, yeah, all right." And in like, your ass, not me. I she I, I I thought she was saying that, but she said, um, but she's like, "Oh no, I'm just gonna put it in me." I was like, "Oh okay." She goes, "Apparently, it's better sex." I was like, oh, "Okay," and uh, yeah, it made the whole vagina go like like super tight because there was like something stuck in her bum. Did you kiss her? Yeah. 
What's her name? I can't say. Josie. She knows, right, she knows who she is. She watches uh, probably. All right, everyone. I don't think she does. Episode 25, done and dusted. We're going to put the uh, podcast live show tickets on sale soon, aren't we? Mm. So and keep next, an ear out for that. Next week, it may miss a week, but yeah, just yeah. stay tight. We will be back. It's just for the betterment so we don't have age restriction. This is how we'll, it has we'll, to work. We'll put out our things. If, yeah, if, we'll, um, we'll let everyone know. Happens. Plenty of time, all right? We fucking love you, cunts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, five-star review on Spotify. I uh, hope you like the bloody episode, and we'll see you guys in two weeks' time. We're the we're the best. 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 Fucking flat today, aren't we? We're the best. Hey? We're oh, the what best. What makes you think you're flat? We're just not very giggly today. Yeah, I need weed. I don't know. I giggled pretty hard. Blake's fucking, man, I want to bend to it. We laughed dude. heaps. What are you guys talking about? When? When did we laugh? We laughed all through Blake's thing. We laughed during the, the Tinder readouts. I was giggling during the prank call. Sex. Remember the word sex? What a laugh. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. We did say sex too. We're the best. Anyway, see you later, guys. Yeah.